shovel that was uh, hand carved by a man back in the 1930s. Mm -hmm. And it says on it, a good motto, and a big W here, work well and willingly with what you have. Mm -hmm. And then you flip it on over, and it says D-U-T-Y, doing useful things yourself. Mm -hmm. Good motto, everybody. That's kind of your life story, isn't it? That is. It truly <laughs> is. Yeah. yeah. Outside, what you're looking at is um, a marvelous front door that the hinges came from um, a cabin that I lived in in Rogersville, and they're all hand, hand on. Um, I don't know. Guess it, there are windows up there, you guys. And, yeah. You know, anybody that's listening to this, there really are windows. I just haven't cut the ivy away this year. Yeah. From it. When, when did you move here? Uh, 1971. Oh, okay. 1971. Uh, how, how, what brought you here? Um, dropping out. Uh -huh. uh, went to Woodstock uh -huh. and um, realized that that there was a that we could, that we could, we could do this. Mm -hmm. um, just drop out and and join the join the countryside. Well, I went to school, went to college in Virginia Intermont in Bristol, uh -huh. Virginia, and and knew how fantastic the people are here and mm -hmm. how visually beautiful this countryside is. So I just got into a car and and drove on down and plopped ourselves into Rogersville and met James Richardson. And he put us up in his little cabin down on the river. And I just thought to myself, this is where I want to live. Mm -hmm. This is where I want to have my kids. This is where I want to live. So what, what was it about this place that you liked? Uh, oh, a couple of things. The, the big thing, I think, the, the people. The people were so wonderful. Mm -hmm. So the, what I wanted to be is, you know, generous with your time and not pass judgment on you and because we were sort of known as the hippies and mm -hmm. and yet they you know they they just took us as being at face value there mm -hmm. and then visually i mean look at this yeah have you ever seen so many colors of green in your <laughs> life and i think that this ground is so terrific i think that the water here is just so delicious and mm -hmm. everything about you know the the topography is just right. fantastic uh, what's the what's the story behind your house? The story behind the this, house. This I don't I know. This looks like something out of a fairy tale. I, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm Sleeping Beauty here. <laughs> you know, waiting to you know dig it down the vines and and find me. Um, it started as being just a cabin, mm -hmm. a, a 16 by 24 cabin, and just it's all rock underneath here, and then. Um, beams or trees that we just cut down off the farm and those were the the beams for the ceil in the ceiling and the neighbors you just kind of built it like the pioneers built it didn't you oh yeah yeah with uh with the axes and uh, honestly mm -hmm. yeah it's, when you see inside you'll see very much what i'm talking about <laughs> and the beginning was the the beams these large beams that came out of the woods there and honestly i was here by myself at the time and I thought to myself, how am I going to do this? And I had a book, and I know this sounds really crazy, but it, it showed you how to cut down a tree. You, you make a notch, and I mean, it was because I didn't know how to do any of this. Mm -hmm. Then the next thing was really the recycling of things, which was, I mean, it wasn't even fashionable back in those days, but it was sort of like you, what you have, that's what you use, mm -hmm. you know, and if someone's going to give you something, you, you put it somewhere, mm -hmm. or you make it. If you mm -hmm. need a door, make the door if you don't, you know, have it. So mm -hmm. it was definitely um, a group effort mm -hmm. uh, at any given time. Mm -hmm. A lot of friends that came down, you know, from the good old days up north, and mm -hmm. they came down, and, you know, it was like... Just fun. Just yeah. Sort of a born raising at, 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 at an interval, mm -hmm. you know, that, that people would all say, hey, Lee, you know, how about if we come down, you know, for 4th of July and five people would come mm -hmm. and we'll do an, a porch or we'll, we'll, you know, make something. Mm -hmm. But then when John came in my life, um, definitely things um, he, that he became much more of a help and mm -hmm. uh, he likes things that are a little more structured and that's why this, this, 
new room here is much more mm -hmm. much more John's influence of mm -hmm. being it's got square being, corners it's got, <laughs> exactly <laughs> as we needed another room then we added uh, mm -hmm. another room how many rooms is it now oh I don't know I don't know. There are no doors. Oh, <laughs> one big room. <laughs> it was it's one big room. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You're an artist, right? Yes. T well, tell me I about mean, your your art, your endeavors in art. Um. Did you study art? No. No, you just no. became an artist. I, yeah. Or I think you're born with. I think you're. I think everybody has it in them. Mm -hmm. I really truly do. Um. And I think that if you if you pursue that and don't get intimidated by what other people label art I, or, or an artist I think that you just follow just follow a medium that, that happens for you with mm -hmm. me it's just about anything I really loved wood and mm -hmm. uh, so I really got into the wood carving and, mm -hmm. and wood building things and um, and just really getting into that. So your ho your house became kind of a palette, is that oh, right? Oh, definitely. Wait till you see inside. <laughs> I can show you. And not only for myself, but um, everyone. And I'll and I'll do this rap with everyone. I'll say to you, you know, oh, you like photography or you like writing? All right. So the house became um, a collection of things that people have made and have given. Not so much to me, but just to add to the house. Mm -hmm. So the house has evolved from not just my effort or John's effort, but from everybody. Uh, Young calls it the museum. Young is my son, mm -hmm. and he calls it the museum because so many people have added to this this place, and um, and I like that. It is okay that things are not plumb and um, level and that you can do without. You know, it's like, what is it, Jagger's thing, Mick Jagger things about, you know, you can't always get what you want, but mm -hmm. you get what you need. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's, I think that's, that's a good, good thing. Don't be afraid of what people think. That's the big thing, <laughs> yeah. is that people get too, like, intimidated by what someone's going to think. Mm -hmm. about them or about what they just did is this is this acceptable forget that just well. do it believe me I've had a lot of fun doing this it, it, it's not um, I think a lot of it is like you know what can I what can I do now honestly it's, it's just fun creating and and challenging yourself you know if you never did this before you know don't be intimidated by it that's my point it, mm -hmm. you know Try it. Do it. You know, mm -hmm. it'll come out. It'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs>